I've come across a lot of egregious lawsuits through the years. They generally run the gambit from hilariously frivolous to completely infuriating. But if I were to put together a list of the most outrageous lawsuits of all time, and no, I don't have that kind of motivation, so don't ask, but this one that I'm about to discuss right here might be at the top of the trash heap. Apparently, a guy is suing Pornhub because some of the videos don't contain subtitles. Sounds pretty ridiculous, right? Oh yeah, did I mention that the gentleman filing the lawsuit is deaf? I guess that kind of changes things a bit. Well, actually, no, it's still pretty goddamn stupid. In his lawsuit, Yaroslav Suris claims that the deaf and hearing impaired can't understand the audio portion of the videos on the site and even listed a number of video titles that he watched to verify his claim. The lawsuit states, websites that prevent accessibility to deaf and hard of hearing individuals is a discriminatory act and therefore is a violation of the Americans with Disabilities Act. Now, before you start to think I'm some asshole and capable of empathy for the disabled, you should know that I also have a disability. I'm legally blind. My visual acuity is 20 over 180, and that's with correction. So if anyone were to have a reason to sue someone for lack of accessibility, it would be someone like me in the blind community. After all, porn is a mostly visual-based medium. Maybe Pornhub should provide us with extra-large monitors, or maybe all videos should be required to have narration. I mean, can you imagine that? Using her left hand, camgirl underscore 95 takes the head of her foot-long pink dildo and places it gently against her clitoris, moving it slowly in a counterclockwise direction, while her right hand begins to gently massage her nipples. You know, on second thought, that's actually not such a bad idea after all. It could give a bunch of voiceover jobs to all those people that iHeartRadio just unceremoniously canned. Yeah, the radio business fucking sucks, by the way. Seriously, though, not being able to hear the audio in your average jerk flick isn't really that big of a loss, especially the shit that's on amateur sites like Pornhub. So here's some of the stuff that you're missing out on if you don't have audio or closed captions. First, a lot of porn has music, and I'm not even talking about the bow chicka bow bow stuff because that's not really in porn anymore. Sometimes it's just a track that's overdubbed on top of the video, and that's all there is to it. Other times it's some kind of external source that's blaring in the room, a smart speaker or a laptop, etc., and it makes things anywhere from mildly to extremely difficult to understand what's being said anyway. And in the porn that doesn't contain music, well, I guess you could get some small talk at the beginning, depending on what kind of garbage you're watching. But for the most part, the only thing you're going to be really hearing are a bunch of oohs and ahs, some grunts, a few fuck yeahs or oh gods. And then eventually they'll let you know when they're about to climax, which is fairly obvious when it happens. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, I guess a few cam girl vids may have some ever so scintillating banter about random topics like, I don't know, what kind of alcoholic beverage they enjoy, their cats, or what tattoo they're going to get next. But really, if it has nothing to do with getting off, then who gives a masturbatory fuck what they're talking about? So, having gone over all of that, is it really so important to know what's being said? Sure, I don't know what it's like to be deaf, but I do know about the last thing that any guy would ever want to do while jerking the gherkin is to read. But what about the actual central argument of the lawsuit? Is Pornhub actually in violation of the Americans with Disabilities Act? Well, let's take a look here. The ADA states that employers cannot use disability as a basis for denying someone employment. Yeah, I know, discrimination still happens all the time. That's another topic for another day. Title II states that the government can't deny an individual basic services or otherwise discriminate against someone based upon a disability, okay. Title III deals with the issue of privately owned public accommodations not being allowed to discriminate based on disability as well, such as hotels, restaurants, doctor's offices, schools, daycare, etc. Also, it says that buildings must have reasonable modifications made for the handicapped, such as wheelchair ramps and so on. Hmm, maybe Title IV is relevant here. Telecommunications. Nope. This has to do with telephone and internet service providers being required to have special access to the hearing and speech impaired. There's nothing here that says that a creator or distributor of pornography has to do anything to make it easier or more convenient for you to come. Although, and I think this is kind of important to point out here, Pornhub has already been integrating closed captioning into their site for the last two years now. 
Yeah, it sucks having a disability. And there are completely legitimate issues that face our community that need to be addressed by the legal system. But your petty bullshit nuisance grievances aren't one of them. Imagine if the rest of us had this attitude. There's a donut shop that's less than a block from my house. The inside of the shop is open from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m., but the drive through is open 24 hours a day. But wait, what if I want some chocolate frosted donuts at 2 a.m.? I can't drive a car, so I can't use the drive through Hmm, should I wait until the shop opens at 5 a.m. and walk my ass down there and gorge myself on some thousand-calorie goodness? Or should I file a lawsuit because it's not fair that someone that can drive is able to get donuts whenever they want, but I have a measly 17-hour window in which to push myself a little closer to diabetes? Well, according to the logic of this deranged dickhead, I ought to sue, baby, sue. I guess the only advice I can give to people that really think this way is something that most of us rational types learned at a very young age. Six very simple words that will carry you through just about any situation. Life isn't fair. Deal with it.